dies are used to remove excess metal from panels. They have upper trim steels and lower trim steels that cut metal using a shearing action, much like a pair of scissors. When trim steels have worn or damaged edges, they can cause problems like burrs or pullback. When a trim die closes, a spring or nitrogen loaded pad holds the part in position. Then the upper trim steels contact the part, and as they pass by the lower trim steels, they shear the metal. The lower trim steels are normally the master. Because of this, you will have to spot the upper trim steels to them. Trim steels are constructed two ways. There are composite trim steels and sectional trim steels. Composite trim steels are constructed as an integral part of the die and have one continuous edge that forms the trim line. Sectional trim steels are mounted to the die and one or more trim steel sections are used to construct the trim line. If a trim edge becomes worn or damaged, it must be welded and then ground back to its original dimensions using a combination of rough grinding and finish grinding. Rough grinding can be used on top of the trim steel because it is a non-working surface and its dimension is not critical. The face of the trim steel, however, is a working surface and maintaining its dimension is critical. Here the excess weld must be carefully ground so that it is aligned with the original working surface. Trim steels are sometimes undercut to help shed scrap. If a trim steel has been undercut, there may not be enough of an original surface left to grind back to, in which case you will have to use a process known as plastic shearing.